my mom cleaner here i am going to do a video on my homemade banana bread so bear with me let me go wash my hands I've done got the ingredients out that I need so that'll that'll save me a little bit of time on the video but this is a banana bread from scratch I do banana nut bread but a lot of times I do it without the nuts so I'm nutty enough but I, I didn't y'all didn't hear me say that okay let me get my camera fixed sorry about the hand Okay. Come on now. Get down there. Alright. We got one cup of sugar. One cup of butter. Let me get something to get it out with. This is a fairly simple recipe. Sorry for the small picture. I don't have a tablet yet. So I'm doing it on my phone. Alright. Sorry about the noise. But you cream the butter and the sugar together until it gets fluffy. I'll show you what I mean here. Now. take two eggs one at a time you put in there and you beat it after each egg that you put in First egg, second egg. Sorry for the noise. Preheat my oven to 325. Okay, but that's what your mixture almost a cake batter, a little bit thinner than a cake batter. All right, then you take oh, these are three ripe bananas I've already smashed up with a fork. Okay, then you take one teaspoon of ground cinnamon then you take one tablespoon of milk
Okay. And if you notice, I like to put my milk and stuff back up as I'm going. And then you mix this real good. You can mix it with a fork, spoon, whatever. You really don't have to beat it. Alright, that's two bowls. You can take your third bowl. Now I need to spray my pan while I'm at it too. Then you take two cups of all-purpose flour. Then you take a teaspoon of baking powder. Teaspoon of baking soda. And a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna do it over the sink. I will make a mess and put too much salt in the bowl. Okay. Now what you want to do, you just want to mix this up real good. Just to make sure all the ingredients get equally divided, mixed in good. Okay, that should be mixed in real good. Now, well, Then you take your uh, banana mixture and mix it in with your creamed mixture. Yeah, so many bowls, but it's worth it. I don't mind washing dishes. <laughs> All right, then you mix this good. Mix it real good. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like when you get everything mixed good. And I'm sorry about the, the beeping and the dinging in the background. I just got to turn off my notifications. But you mix it good. And it's almost like a... See? I don't know if you can see that. See it? Alright. Then, you take... And you put in the flour mixture. All right. Then you bring the mixture back. And you're going to mix it just until the flour disappears. Well, I made a cloud. Mix it with my mixer first. Hold on. I always do that. Then I have to go back and clean all the flour up. flour has disappeared. Well, see, then you take your greased pan, let me get my 
bathroom. And then you just pour it over in your grease pan. And you put it in the oven and you cook it for mm, uh, probably about an hour to an hour and 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and set my timer for an hour. Um, I'll take it an hour and if a toothpick or knife comes out clean, it's done. But you got to go right down the middle. If not, I'll let it cook for additional uh, 10 minutes but there you go all right now i got to clean up the mess guys and girls see my dust i do that every time i don't know why and i know that it's gonna do that but every time i make a mess so i guess that's part of cooking okay Bye. Love you guys and girls. Bye.